Hey Apple, congratulations, you did a website refresh. Because you realized that this news did not warrant an event, but it was exciting enough to drop in the newsroom page. Keep in mind this marketing strategy, Apple. It is surprising for us to wake up and have some news, while simultaneously not getting people too excited for an event that's kind of vague and we don't know what's to come at it. So remember this day, Apple, because I'm grateful for it. And yes, we have some updates with Apple Pay to talk about, thanks to this new tap with iPhone feature that should make Apple Pay far more interesting. Let's begin. So before, if any merchants wanted to support contactless, you know, cards that you just kind of tap on a reader or Apple Watch, Apple Pay methods or iPhone, Apple Pay methods, they had to buy additional hardware that were basically NFC readers because Apple Pay works securely over NFC. So you double tap the side button or you double tap the button on your Apple Watch and you hold it close to the reader and that's how the payment is complete. But that additional hardware for the merchants and businesses always adds additional expense. It adds additional hardware and it additional complexity to their whole cash register setup, but thanks to an update that Apple is bragging about now, iPhones will actually be able to just send money to each other via NFC, and now for businesses and merchants out there, they will be able to turn essentially any iPhone as long as it's a 10s or newer, which is fairly recent generation, that basically means all 2018 iPhones and onward, into individual card readers. So not only can it accept an Apple Watch using Apple Pay or an iPhone using Apple Pay, but even even those contactless credit and debit cards out there. If you just want to hold the card next to the merchant's iPhone, it will charge, which I'm hoping this means Apple Pay can become far more common because believe it or not, there's still some places in this world that do not have it. I know that lots of places in Europe have had mass adoption of contactless payments, but there's still been a few occasional diners or dated businesses out there that just don't have the contactless thing, especially in more rural areas of the United States. And I've interacted with them and I try to ask them if they have Apple Pay just because I want them to support it. I gotta get my 2% cash back. But now knowing that even just having a basic iPhone will allow you to support Apple Pay now at no additional charge, that should make it pretty freaking easy to support Apple Pay because they don't have to buy any more additional hardware. They likely already have an iPhone or someone at the company will have one. And if they don't, then it could be as simple as just buying a refurbished or used iPhone SE for probably sub $400 that you can now just convert and make a permanent Apple Pay reader and then of course you can also use that phone for other things if you want to take pictures of stuff going on or use it as a web browser or take orders with it and that kind of thing this is one of those features that just makes too much sense and I'm honestly really really confused why it took this long for Apple to even come up with this feature considering we've had this generation of NFC on our iPhones for so long now why were we waiting until 2022 to launch it I don't know but it's cool nonetheless and because contactless payments are so simple and secure I'm glad to Apple is going to be increasing the adoption rate, I believe, especially with smaller businesses if you're just like one guy at like a farmer's market trying to sell some produce, or you're even manning a taco truck and that type of thing. We've interacted with that in our personal lives as well, and of course they don't usually support credit cards because they don't want that extra complexity or all of that additional hardware from within the vehicle or extra stuff to pack with them, but they probably have an iPhone of some kind, especially in the US where it's fairly common, so just making it super easy for businesses to support that type of payment method, I think is going to make life easier for both parties, especially because Shopify is already talking about this feature rolling out for their business, and probably lots of third parties are going to develop their own software to take advantage of this tap-to-pay system. That way, you can easily track all of your expenses, and of course, all of the customers' transactions can now be seen directly through the wallet app or through their banking app of choice if they want to keep using the credit or debit contactless method. So, it's a little bit techy. I I know it's probably not the most exciting news in the world, but I am happy to see they're rolling this out. And I'm also happy to see Apple using more site refreshes instead of waiting for events to get people all hyped up only to tell them about minor software updates. Whereas when you just wake up in the morning and you find out iPhones and Apple Pay are just going to get incredibly easy to support, then I'm like, okay, this is kind of a cool day. We've got stuff to talk about. So how do you guys feel about Apple rolling this out? Do you think that Samsung or Google needs to come up with their own version of this to make it easier for merchants? 
to support contactless payments. We know those Androids got the hardware for it, so you also think sharing money between iPhone users could be utilized with this feature if you just needed to borrow a couple bucks from someone or pay them back for a trip to a restaurant or whatever. Instead of using Venmo or Cash App, would you rather just be able to tap your iPhone to them? I don't know if that's necessarily any easier than just paying people through iMessage, which is already a thing, but all those good thoughts, let me know what you're thinking down below. This is your Apple Sheep here. I'll see you all in the next one.